So Rule 1 came around with really kind of e-discovery, which is just the existence of digital data and litigation has, has blown out of proportion and, and made litigation so exorbitantly expensive. The legal market has 100% been a little bit self-propagating. They control the duration of all these things and they can bloat their own stuff. And why it's called Rule 1 is the first rule of civil procedure um, is about getting back to that kind of just economic trial base. We really wanted to bring kind of like a state-of-the-art web offering to that segment of the market um, where they could get in, um, basically digest all the documents they're getting, um, have some kind of artificial intelligence assisted review where um, we're doing more than keyword searching, we're conceptually understanding documents, we're doing pattern recognition across four million documents in a litigation that came in and stuff like that, all in turn to try to help the lawyers get to like highly relevant documents really, really quickly. Our team is a good culmination of lawyers who've practiced at a high level for, for 20 plus years, um, as well as a product team that's worked together on a number of products in the past and, and had good success with like high level user experience. We were very fortunate to get some early betas, some of the top plaintiffs firms in the country. Sitting down with those guys like day after day and, and really working through the flows with them helped us build it outside of like a lot of these other competitors I think are very much building it in a box and hoping it's gonna work in the industry. I underestimated how uh, on tech savvy the industry was. Some of our, our first uh, firms we went into, in order for them to make PDFs, they would literally print out, call it two million documents, and then scan them back in to have a PDF copy, trying to, to avoid that gap of, okay, you've got printing and scanning things to like artificial aided um, searching and stuff. How do you make that really intuitive? If technology surpasses you and you no longer have a way to add value to a system, um, that's a, a fundamental flaw and you, you need to figure that one out. Most of the uh, fear or, or concern is coming from some of the older partners who know that they've had kind of a, a lock on this legal market and then now these younger guys are coming into the space and with just their understanding of technology and tools like ours, um, they can quickly expedite like a multi-year case and spank a larger prestigious defense firm just because they understand what they're doing and they're using real tools.